course, learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to talk about the system browser. So right after we learn how to create a circuit, low voltage circuit, and adding some wires. So this time around, we are going to explore how to use the system browser. Okay, so aside from the project browser, aside from the properties, you also have another window here if you're going to select the view tab user interface and then you can select there the system browser okay so it says it displays a hierarchical list of all the components in each discipline in a project either by system or by zone so we use the system browser to find components that may not be assigned to a system and show load or flow information so this is very important so let's say for example you have placed one uh, family like for example your fire alarm devices okay and then if you want to check if that particular family is already assigned to a circuit or to a system so one way of figuring it out how to check it is by using your system browser Okay, so another way of opening the system browser is you can just simply right click at the blank space. You go to the browsers and then you can select there the system browser. So once I select that one, so there you go. So there's now my system browser. Okay, so this is a very effective tool for finding components that are not yet assigned to a system or in our case, not yet assigned to a circuit. Okay, so just like your project browser, your system browser is a separate window that displays this hierarchical list of all the components in each discipline in the project, either by systems, by zones, or by analytical system. Okay, and just like your project browser, you can also dock it here on the whatever you like. You can, you can combine it with the project browser. You can drag that then you can combine that so that you have the project browser and then you have here your system browser so you can just drag this window out that tab and then if you want you can make it a floating window or you can put it here above okay now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to dock it here on the properties so they are com uh, it is combined with the properties all right so let's explore our system browser Okay, so for our system browser, the first thing that you will see here in this drop down arrow is the system. So obviously, if you are selecting the systems here, it will show you here the components by major and minor system created for each discipline. So as you can see, if ever you place a family inside your project and you didn't assign that to a circuit or it's not part of the system, it will be placed here automatically under the unassigned system. So right now, as you can see, I have three items here that is not yet assigned to a system. So if I select the plus here, you can see that it's on the electrical. I expand that. I expand the fire alarm. And then this is what I'm talking about. So if I select this one, okay, so notice that these are not yet part of the system okay so it is still unassigned so if you right click that right click you all have here the option to delete that or to select that one as you can see it's highlighted or of course you can right click that and then you can select show and then it will zoom into that particular uh, element so this one is not yet part of the system that's why if you check out here you can now create the system if you want for that particular panel okay so what i'm talking about is any family that you have created and placed inside your project if they are not yet part of the system or a circuit automatically it will be placed under the unassigned system so i have here three uh fire alarm devices that is not yet part of the system okay and then if you are going to check out here so i have five systems here created for the electrical so that's why if i expand this expand the fire alarm 
I can see that I have this FACP01, FACP02 system. So I'm going to expand that. So these are the particular uh, uh, elements that is part of my circuit number one. Okay. As you can see, it highlights here. There, it highlights. So this is one good way also of selecting an element. Okay, so if I select this number one, so that's the circuit, circuit number one. So I also have here circuit number two. And then on the circuit number two, I can see here that I have uh, six devices that is connected to that particular circuit. Okay, and same with circuit number three. So if I expand that on the kitchen, so I have these devices that is assigned to that particular circuit just this one again you can right click that you can select show so that you'll be able to see it on your view okay so that is for your system so if you're going to click the drop down arrow here so you also have here zones so it displays zones and spaces here you can expand that to show the spaces on that particular zone if you still remember we have created our spaces right so if that spaces is not yet assigned to a zone, so automatically it will be placed under the default zone. So again, so this is one good way of selecting your spaces inside your project and checking out the property of that space. Like for example, for the click this one, it will highlight here. So I can right click that. I can either delete, I can select, I can select show, or I can check out the properties of that. And then you'll be able to see it here on the properties uh, palette. Okay, so let me go back again to the system browser. So that's for your zone. And then you also have here analytical system. So it displays any analytical system that you have created. So here you can select add zone equipment on your analytical system. You can also add air system. It defines the air system by editing the parameters in our properties palette. So for the zone equipment, if you want to add that, so it defines the zone equipment by editing the properties again on the properties palette. And we also have here add water loop. It defines the water loop by editing the parameters in the properties palette. But at the moment, we don't have any analytical systems. Okay, so what we are concerned about at the moment is the systems here. We're in, we can check here what are the systems that is already created in this project. And then what are the elements or the devices that is already part of that particular circuit. Okay, so aside from that, you can also filter your system. You can show all the disciplines or you can select only mechanical. We don't have system for mechanical. You can select piping. We don't have system for the piping or you can select electrical. So we have a uh, circuit created for our electrical here, right? Okay, and then for this one, this is just uh, auto fit all columns. So you can click that if you want to auto fit or you can also select the column settings here. Okay, you can just explore this one. Okay, so basically that's how you use your system browser again this is an effective tool for finding components that are not yet assigned to a circuit or to your system okay so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching have a nice day